The Lord be with you. We're uh, taking a look at our self-reflection time on All Saints Day, and I originally meant to say something like this about All Saints Day, and I went off on a tangent. Uh, so uh, the word saint, uh, it can mean holy one or more accurately, if I'm understanding the word correctly, it's a person who has been set apart by God for God's purposes. Uh, it's not a person who's a goody two shoes. It's not a person who, you know, is, you know, an exemplary type of Christian. It's simply someone who has been set apart by God for God's purposes. And how does God set us apart for his purposes? Through Jesus Christ. I, the Holy Spirit comes into us, we believe the gospel of Jesus Christ, and we have become people who are separate, different, unique, other, not common, not ordinary, not run-of-the-mill people, not ordinary people, but people who have been set apart by God from the world, from everybody else, for God's purposes, you know, to be things like a light to the world and a city set on a hill, uh, that kind of saint or holy one or person set apart by God for his purposes. So what's All Saints Day about? Uh, November 1st is All Saints Day. Why do we celebrate that in the Lutheran Church and as a King of Glory family uh, on the first Sunday in November? Because we like to keep our worship services on Sundays. And once a week worship is good enough for me, except for Christmas Eve, Christmas Day, Good Friday, Monday, Thursday, and Thanksgiving Day. Yeah. Uh, so why do we say celebrate all saints? Why do we say all saints? Uh, we have what one person calls the democracy of the dead, which is to say we and to be more specifically, uh, we Americans, and being more specific, we Washingtonians, my apologies for being from California, it, it was a great state. Uh, but, you know, we, we tend to be insular in our thinking, myopic in our thinking, narrow-minded in our thinking, because we're surrounded by people who, for the most part, they think like us, they talk like us, they act like us, they, and, and so how do we do worship? Well, we do worship like the people around us. Uh, and so there's a tendency, especially in America, uh, to be forward focused. We're focusing on the future. Uh, we look into the future and we face the future going forward. Uh, and so we're always looking for the latest thing, the newest thing, what, what's the latest fashion, the latest fad. Uh, and this is true even when it comes to something like worship. Now, uh, I, I'm not the kind of person who thinks that, you know, worship was perfected, uh, you know, when Martin Luther was born or when they wrote all of our hymns in the 17 and 1800s. Uh, we, we don't want to be myopic like that either where we think that we need to be German or Lutheran, but that we, we have a democracy of the dead. We look at the testimony, how God has worked at all times and in all places and makes all people. It's kind of hard to do, you know, to know how all people have worshiped throughout the ages, uh, but we allow more than just our narrow-minded thinking, our own personal experience to influence our behavior. Uh, and, and what we do as King of Glory Lutheran Church. Uh, that is, we go back through time all the way to the very beginning. And so that's why we have liturgical practices, you know, the eight or 10 parts of the liturgy, uh, because those are ancient. They go back to the time of Jesus, uh, and, and they all come from the Bible. Uh, they all go back 2,000 years, and some parts even 3,200 years. We, we get the input of Christians throughout the ages, and the idea being is we take the best of the old, the best of the new, because there's a lot of garbage out there, and so we listen to the voices of all the saints throughout the ages. And one cool thing in one of our liturgies, we say during the Lord's Supper liturgy, uh, therefore, with angels and archangels and all the company of heaven, in other words, with all the saints, 
we join the saints at the Lord's table celebrating the meal, the banquet feast of the Lamb, and looking forward to that day when we are reunited with him. Okay, that's pretty cool uh, that we join with the saints at the Lord's table. Uh, so if you think about the altar rail and you just put it to the other side and think about who's on the other side of that altar rail, pretty cool because it's a, a mirror image of the throne room of God. Yeah. God's peace be with you. Amen.